Good morning, Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. And this morning I wanted to do an Easter card and I was um, inspired by the card that's on page 30 and 31 of the Occasions catalog. It's called His Grace. And here is an example of the card basically exactly as it appears except for except for the ribbon i changed it up a little and i kind of lightened the background and i'm going to even change it up a little bit more with this tutorial i just think it's a very nice very simple beautiful card that is really isn't very hard to make so let's go ahead and get started. To make this card, you're going to need His Grace Clean Stamp Set from the Occasions Catalog. And we're going to focus on this piece here, this sentiment, and this little dove. You're then going to need, for the background paper, um, they recommended the wood textures. Um, there are some light colors that you can use but I also wanted to bring your attention to the paper from the Floral Romance Specialty Designer Series and this is the color that I used for the back um, for the background for for this card I thought it was uh, it was really really pretty so that's another option if you don't happen to have that paper stack I'm actually going to use the Floral Romance series, Designer Series paper, but I'm going to change it up and I'm going to use this background instead of a wood background. And I'm just going to see how that comes out. The base of the card is in soft sea foam and it's your standard size of five and a half by four and a quarter. And then the layering piece that we're going to stamp on is going to be five and a fourth by four. You're also going to need a piece of Highland Heather uh, cardstock in order to uh, to uh, uh, cut this cross, which comes from another set that's in the annual catalog, and it's the Hold On to Hope. And in here is this very nice little cross that we're that we're going to use to cut out that piece. Now. Um, I'm also going to use the largest of the stitch shape, shape oval framelits. This is the largest one right here. So you're going to need that. And then for this background, which is kind of filigree uh, white, I'm going to take this piece from the Petals and More stamp set and I'm going to cut out several of them and we're going to kind of place it around um, the inside of our card because we're going to have to do some fussy cutting. So this is just a really simple uh, piece that we're going to, to cut out with our Big Shot. So you will need your Big Shot. I'm using this really nice uh, woven white ribbon. You're going to need a piece of shimmery white cardstock. The shimmery white cardstock is going to be used to, to watercolor this background. And the colors that we're going to watercolor with are going to be the Grapefruit Grove and Daffodil Delight. So you're going to need an aqua painter. Because we're going to, and I forgot to mention this, because you're going to um, cut these out, I'm going to use your Sizzix adhesive sheets. These are in the annual catalog, and they're going to help us to ensure that our, um, our filigree background here adheres nicely on our card. And I'm going to demonstrate how I put that on so, um, so, you, can, uh, so you can see. And let me see what else I have over here. I'm kind of going over to my stack of, of, of stuff. Um, you're going to need Memento Black. Uh, I'm using Stamping Blends. Let me grab my Stamping Blends here that to color in our flowers. And I have uh, Crumb Cake 
I have Highland Heather, and then I have Granny Apple Green. Those are the those are the colors you need to, to uh, color in there. Um, we fussy cut the dove. I did use a little bit of our Wink of Stella to kind of give it a little bit of pop. And um, you're going to need a really good pair of shears because we're going to do some fussy cutting. And I think that's it. Besides uh, using your Stamparatus because that's going to help us to, to align our image. Okay, so we're going to use our Stamparatus to stamp our image on our designer series paper. And this is how we're going to align to make sure that we get our paper correct. So this is the same size as our designer series paper and I really don't want to mess up my designer series paper. So I'm going to take just a piece of, of uh, scrap paper, it's just some grid paper, and I cut it to the five and a fourth by four. And I'm just going to lay it in here and I'm going to line it up. I just have a, a piece of uh, grid paper here. I'm just going to line it up with, uh, with this mark right here. Line it up there. And I'm going to put my, my um, magnet in the middle. <clears throat> and then I'm going to line up my, my image. Now bear in mind these are clean stamps and I tried to put the label on but the label's a little bit higher so I have to be mindful that my image is going to be actually lower than what I put on my clean stamp because um, it's there's a gap here okay and that was messing me up when I when I was stamping before so I just want to go ahead and put this here I'm going to close my Stamparatus. I'm just going to grab some ink. It doesn't have to be Momento right now. We're just going to stamp and just, we're just kind of doing a test run. Okay, so that's lovely. It, it, it um, is a, a good distance between the edges. So now I'm just going to take this. I'm going to flip it around. I guess, again, I mark myself where I'm right there. Flip it around, center it. We're going to ink this up again, and I should be, and that's perfect. Do you see how that's just really perfect right there? And I, I mean that they don't touch, they don't overlap. Okay, so now I know I have a good alignment. And, um, and again, this is predominantly because when I put the cling stamp label on, um, I, they, they can be a challenge to put on. And I think I kind of <clears throat> misaligned it. Okay, so there's my template. I know what it's going to look like. So now I can, I can go live now with my DSP. And I really hate to waste this. So that's why, um, for me, just taking a few minutes of kind of just making sure everything's good to go um, I think it's really uh, worth it because you know this is a lot of money to invest in these products and you I don't like to waste them now I don't know why if you look over here how why this gets so over inked I'm really a little perturbed and I have to be careful because I don't know if I'm if I'm dragging my ink pad over my stamp I'm just going to pat it I don't have to use a lot of ink because I can always re-ink it I have a little bit that I'm kind of missed right there so I'm just going to do that again and still I don't know why this flower does not want to come out, but I'm going to, there we go. Okay, so, oh, I know why it didn't come out. Because I use my, um, my plate is, um, see this is the, the uh, gritty side, I should have used the other side, so it's really not seating well. But I'm not going to worry about that right now, and I'll explain what I mean later. Okay, so now I'm going to just put this one over here. I'm going to put that. 
And again, we're just going to pat kind of gently on our stamp set. Okay, so that's well done. That's pretty well, that's pretty well stamped. Let me close my moment. Now what I meant is this was not seating very well on my hinge. And let me take this out and explain. That is because on your Stamparatus plate you have an etch side with this uh, this grid pattern and then you have a smooth side. The side that should have had my stamp should have been the smooth side and then it would have been seated look a lot better. So um, I made it work but that's kind of um, a note to using your Stamparatus. Okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to color in our Piece, and I'm just going to come in here a little bit and I'm going to start bringing out my colors and I like to start with my very light Highland Heather. Okay, so there we go. Well blended. So now I'm going to have to uh, fussy cut this. So I'm just going to take a pair of scissors, I'm going to punch a center, and I'm just going to kind of cut out a piece around. Okay, so there it is, fussy cut. And pretty much following all the little pieces right here. I did go in a little bit on some of the leaves, but you really don't have to do that. So it's really not that hard to do, but it is it is a um, it is a fussy cut uh, technique. So this is going to go very nicely on the top of this card. So now we're going to cut our, um, our pieces that we're going to use to kind of decorate the inside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut 
um, some white pieces out of this framelit right here. Now, to do that, I'm going to use a piece of white um, cardstock, and this is my Sizzix, uh, the adhesive sheets. So I'm going to put it on this end right here, and this is where I'm going to cut my my uh, my uh, pieces. Okay, so I separate it. This goes away. I use the top of this and I just lay that on and just roll it across. And there it is. Okay, now if I have some extra, I'm just going to go ahead and trim it right here. Okay, so now I have my adhesive sheet adhered to the paper that I'm going to cut and then I'm just going to pull this piece back and that's what's going to help me adhere it. So let me run to the Big Shot and, uh, and do those cuts. Okay, I just wanted to show you that um, here's my piece of cardstock that I used my adhesive sheet on. You can see that I took full advantage of all the, the, the space so I didn't waste it. Um, here are the little pieces that I cut out, but I wanted to, to demonstrate that this piece really needed th this, um, this brush set. And Stampin' Up! came up with a new uh, foam base that's a lot harder. In other words, it's much firmer and it really, uh, it really gets out all the, the pieces really easily. So um, that's another tool that would come in very useful with this piece. So just grabbing my little piercing piece, I'm just going to finish popping out some of these. Well, you know, I really don't have to worry about it because I think when I pull the, these off, it's going to uh, fit nicely. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to kind of uh, set these up where I think I want them. And then I'm going to lift this off and come back and then adhere them. I cut four of them. You may not need four of them. In fact, some of these can even get some of these longer pieces cut. Um, but I think it does come out nicely. Okay, so that is how I'm going to put them down, just like that. Oh, they only stay still. And that should fit very nicely right there. So So there we go. I have that very nicely on my card. Now I can put this here and I can um, I can pop this up on some on some framelit on some uh, dimensionals. There you go, that does look nice. 
I, I'm glad I pumped, pop, popped that up on frameless, I mean on dimensionals. And you'll notice that I did have to use quite a bit of dimensionals, but that's primarily because this paper is a little flimsy. But if you do anchor your points down, I think, I think you get a good result. Okay, so now we have that. Now we have to do our next piece, which is we're going to take our shimmery white cardstock because we're going to create the background and I'm going to demonstrate how we're going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to basically start here in the bottom and I have this cut out so that I can very easily use my oval framelit right there because I'm trying to, to create my coloring within that space. So I'm just going to kind of take, I'm going to start out with, um, with yellow and then I'm going to pick up some of this grapefruit grove and we're just going to kind of just smear it and that's really all there is to it that's that's done and I'm just going to go ahead and clean my so there is our piece that's going to go right there and um, I need to cut out our cross. So okay, so this is cut out and I'm just going to um, take this piece here. I'm going to grab my well let's do it this way. Let's take our let's take our ribbon and I'm going to want my ribbon to do this. And I demonstrated this on another card. So you're probably, you've probably seen me do this before. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of straighten my ribbon out. I'm gonna take a piece of tear tape and I'm going to put it in the middle of my oval. I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to start here and go across here and then I'm going to go across right there. So you can see how that fits perfectly right there, okay? So now we're going to grab some very large dimensionals and let's see if I have any more large dimensionals through there. And I'm going to kind of use my dimensionals to pin down my ribbon Okay, I'm using my dimensionals to kind of pin down my ribbon where there are a little bit of openings. And then I can put a dimensional where we're all good right there. Okay, so I'm kind of using my dimensionals a little bit to to pin down my ribbon for when I put it on my card. So let's go ahead and take those off. Okay, and now we're just going to, oops, we're just going to place this right in the middle of our card. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'm going to re-stamp. As I said, um, I'm not. Uh, I think it'd look better if I had a white dove because I'm going to put this purple cross right here, and I think a white dove with um, with some 
Wink Estella would be much prettier. So let me grab my stamp. What I did is I took a piece of light crumb cake, and if you may recall, if you've seen some of my other uh, my other tutorials, that I kind of use use this um, this Tombow. It's a it's kind of an uh, gives a bit of a shading. So you can see by just using that very light crumb cake, I kind of created a little bit of dimension there which I think is kind of nice on this card. Unfortunately, I have a little bit of errant uh, ink there, but I'm not really going to, uh, to worry about that. But I do now have my inside that I can put in there. But let's go ahead and finish up with fussy cutting our dove. And then I'm going to grab my Wink of Stella and we're going to add some wonderful glimmer to our dove. I think you can see that. Looks nice. Okay. So Let's go ahead and put the inside in. And we're done. There you go. What do you think of that? We have three cards. They are actually some different versions using the His Grace stamp set with some other pieces. Um, this one's using um, the wood grain DSP. This one's using the wood grain back of our uh, DSP from the Floral Romance series. And this one is using this very, very pretty um, kind of leaf pattern from the Floral Romance series, uh, which I think is just as striking with the um, with the sea foam paper. In fact, I I think these two are my favorites compared to what was in in the catalog. Now. We changed it up. This one has kind of a, a softer ribbon. This I used the actual uh, white ribbon. 
this one doesn't have a ribbon, you could add some pearls and kind of do that one up. This is a uh, this is Cat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it's kind of giving you a little bit of inspiration for things you can do for your, um, your Easter greetings. Thank you so much for joining. Please like this video. Go to my blog for more information and also just sign up for my newsletter. Happy stamping.
Okay, so this is cut out, and I'm just going to um, take this piece here. I'm going to grab my, well, let's do it this way. Let's take our, let's take our ribbon, and I'm going to want my ribbon to do this. And I've d demonstrated this on another card. So you're probably, you've probably seen me do this before. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of straighten my ribbon out. I'm going to take a piece of tear tape and I'm going to put it in the middle of my oval. I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to start here and go across here and then I'm going to go across right there. So you can see how that fits perfectly right there. Okay. So now we're going to grab some very large dimensionals and let's see if I have any more large dimensionals here they are. And I'm going to kind of use my dimensionals to pin down my ribbon. Okay, I'm using my dimensionals to kind of pin down my ribbon where there are a little bit of openings. And then I can put a dimensional where, we're all good right there. Okay, so I'm kind of using my dimensionals a little bit to, to pin down my ribbon for when I put it on my card. So let's go ahead and take those off. Okay, and now we're just going to, oops, we're just going to place this right in the middle of our card. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'm going to re-stamp, as I said, um, I'm not, uh, I think it'd look better if I had a white dove because I'm going to put this purple cross right here. And I think a white dove with, um, with some Winkostella would be much prettier. So let me grab my stamp and my Memento Black ink and an itty bitty block and I'm just going to stamp right there. Perfect. Um, actually while I have this out we're also going to stamp the inside of our card. So I'm going to grab some cardstock for the inside and I'm going to use um, this piece right here. And let me go ahead and get a block for that. And I'm going to, let's see, I no longer need this piece. So I'm going to very carefully peel that off. And remember, um, Somewhere over here, yeah, here it is. I kept, I kept this cover because I'm going to cover this up to protect this and put it back in my in my block case. And then the piece I'm going to stamp with is going to be this sentiment right here. May his gift, may his precious gift be yours. 
So let's go ahead and take our, our memento black. Just ink that up. And that is inked. Um, there, then I'm going to get this piece and we're going to put the way they did it. They put this one here and then they put this one here. Okay, so now we have those two pieces inked. And I'm going to um, color in with some, just a tad right there. And we're going to color in this. Here. And um, I've already uh, stamped, so I'm going to fussy cut my little dove right there. And I did do my dove in um, in uh, crumb cake. I didn't think that was uh, there was nothing wrong with it, but I think I might restamp that and leave the dove white. What I did is I took a piece of light crumb cake, and if you may recall, if you've seen some of my other uh, my other tutorials, that I kind of use use this um, this Tombow. It's a it's kind of an uh, gives a bit of a shading. So you can see by just using that very light crumb cake, I kind of created a little bit of dimension there which I think is kind of nice on this card. Unfortunately, I have a little bit of errant uh, okay, ink so there, but I'm not really cut going, out to, and I'm just uh, going to worry to, about that. Um, but I do now have my inside. Take this piece here. Can, I'm going to grab, put in there. But let's go ahead and finish up with fussy cutting my, our dough. Well, let's do it Let's take our, and let's take our ribbon. And I'm going to want my ribbon on to our card. do this. And I d demonstrated this on another card. So you're probably, you've probably seen me do this before. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of straighten my ribbon out. I'm going to take a piece of tear tape and I'm going to put it in the middle of my oval. I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to start here and go across here and then I'm going to go across right there. So you okay, can see how I'm putting my cross on. I'm going to use these mini perfectly right there. Okay, 
So and now we're going to need we're going them to for the top right here. And grab going some to very some large gorgeous. dimensionals. Uh, and let's see if I well, have actually, any I more think large dimensionals. Here they are. So then, what I'm going and to I'm going use to kind of going to be my use my handy dandy glue dots. Pin down my ribbon. If your mini dimensional is a little bit past your thing, all you can do is okay. just go in. And I'm just using my dimensionals to kind of just pin tag, down my ribbon. You know, and it's perfect. Then I'm just going to take a couple of glue dots where there are a little and. I'm going to kind of open these. Roll them up a little because I want and them to And then I can put a dimensional where on my cross where I'll put it right there. Okay, so I'm, I'm kind of using my dimensionals a little bit to, to pin down my ribbon for when I put it on my card. Piercing tool. So let's go ahead and take those off them. and then just kind of putting them there on, on my piece. So now we're going to put our cross, okay? And now we're just um, going to kind of like it right there. Let me take off this. We're just going to place this right there. in the middle. And then we're going to do the we're same thing. Cross. I'm just going to grab this one. You can just put the push this on a glue dot. And you can even put two glue dots on go. it. Isn't that you pretty? Can put one by the wing. I use two okay. glue dots. So I'm going to re-stamp as I said, body, and then I'm just um, going to put this. I'm not. Uh, I think it would look better if I had a grab white dove. We could because I'm going to put this purple cross right to. here, and I think a white dove with um, add some one with some. Winkostella would be much slimmer prettier. So let me grab my stamp and my Memento you can Black see that. ink. Looks nice. Okay. And an itty bitty block. So let's go ahead and put the inside and in. I'm just going to stamp right there. Perfect. Um. Actually, while I have this out, we're also going to stamp the inside of our card. And so I'm going to grab. We're some done. Stop for the there inside. You go. And what I'm do you think of that? Use, um, this piece right here. We have, and let me go ahead and get three cards for that. They are actually and some different versions. Using the His See, Grace stamp set with, with some other piece. pieces. And they're very um, carefully this one's using that off. And remember, the wood grain DSP. Um, this one's using over the wood here. grain yeah, back. I kept of our I kept the uh, DSP from cover, the floral aroma to this to protect this and put it back. And this in one my, is using this very, very pretty and then, um, the piece I'm going to stamp kind of leaf. Pattern from the this floral side of right here. May his gift, may his precious uh, which gift I think be yours. Just as striking. So let's Let's go ahead and we'll take some fun paper. Memento plaque. In fact, I, I think these two are my favorites. Ink that up compared to what was in in the catalog. Now we changed it up. This one has kind of a, a softer ribbon. Oh, this I used the actual a uh, white ribbon. Um, this one doesn't there, have a ribbon. Going to get you could add piece. some pearls and kind of and do that one up. We're going to. This is uh. Put. This is Cat Chancellor with so Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I hope you enjoyed this, this tutorial. Here. It's kind of giving you a little bit of inspiration for things you can do for this your um, your Easter greeting here. Thank you so much for okay, joining. Okay, so now we like have this video. Go to my blog pieces. for more information and also to sign up for my newsletter. Happy stamping. And I'm going to um, color in with some, just a tad right there. And we're going to color in this.
What I did is I took a piece of light crumb cake, and if you may recall if you've seen some of my other uh, my other tutorials, that I kind of use use this um, this Tombow. It's a it's kind of an uh, gives a bit of a shading. So you can see by just using that very light crumb cake, I kind of created a little bit of dimension there which I think is kind of nice on this card. Unfortunately, I have a little bit of errant uh, ink there, but I'm not really going to, uh, to worry about that. But I do now have my inside that I can put in there. But let's go ahead and finish up with fussy cutting our dove. And putting our dove on our card. Okay, for putting my cross on, I'm going to use these mini dimensionals. And I'm going to need them for the top right here. And I'm going to need them for this. Uh, well, actually, I think that's all I'm going to need it for. So then, what I'm going to use are going to be my handy dandy glue dots. If your mini dimensional is a little bit past your thing all you can do is just go in and just trim that just a tad you know and it's perfect then I'm just going to take a couple of glue dots and I'm going to kind of roll them up a little because I want them to fit on my cross so I'm just kind of rolling them up with my piercing tool, kind of twisting them, and then just kind of putting them there on, on my piece. So now we're going to put our cross, um, I kind of like it right there. Let me take off this there. And then we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna grab, this one can just, Put the push this on a glue dot and you can even put two glue dots on it because you can put one by the wing so I use two glue dots across the body and then I'm just going to put this there and then I'm going to grab my wink of Stella and we're going to Add some wonderful glimmer to our dove. I think you can see that. Looks nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and put the inside in. And we're done. There you go. What do you think of that? We have three cards. They are actually some different versions. 
using the His Grace stamp set with some other pieces. Um, this one's using um, the wood grain DSP. This one's using the wood grain back of our uh, DSP from the Floral Romance series. And this one is using this very, very pretty um, kind of leaf pattern from the Floral Romance series, uh, which I think is just as striking with the um, with the sea foam paper. In fact, I I think these two are my favorites compared to what was in in the catalog. Now. We changed it up. This one has kind of a, a softer ribbon. This I used the actual uh, white ribbon. This one doesn't have a ribbon. You could add some pearls and kind of do that one up. This is uh, this is Cat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it's kind of giving you a little bit of inspiration for things you can do for your, um, your Easter greetings. Thank you so much for joining. Please like this video. Go to my blog for more information and also just sign up for my newsletter. Happy stamping.